emails at all ends of the day. Mobile technology means we seem to be always on, but now there's a push for employers to ban email after work hours. Seems like a good idea to me. Family therapist Karen Phillip and actress Tony Perra join us now. Great to have you both okay. here yeah, on the therapy couch today as we discuss <laughs> world, you know, serious topics. Email. Hmm. Being always on, that's not a good thing for your health. Well, I don't like the idea of banning it, hmm. uh, employers banning it at all. A lot of us uh, need flexibility in our work hours. I mean, if our work hours are sort of nine to five, not that that really happens anymore, eight to six more likely. But if you need to take a couple of hours off or pick the kids up early or something like that, we may need them to catch up at mm -hmm. the end of the day or even start earlier in yep. the day. So I think as long as we're mindful with what we're doing, as long as we have, make sure we have a balanced life with our work and our family and home, I don't think that we should turn them off at six o'clock. I just don't think it would work at all. What about you, Tony? What are you, what's your feeling about it? Well, I think that, you know, for parents, you know, if they've got to pick their kids up from school and, you know, they're quite strict with pick-up times, oh, yeah. they've got to leave the office, they haven't finished. What do they do, you know? They've, they've got to rely on getting the kids fed, getting them off to bed and then, like, finish work so they're not, like, building it up, you know, for days and days and days. Sure. But I think about where I believe phones should be banned. Mm -hmm. Parks. Yes. Like this is this is all about social media. That's right out mums, the list. Mums on in uh, in the park. Not looking at pushing their kids. their kid on the swing. I, I'm I'm not saying that I'm not guilty, but parks, um, any kind of social environment where someone yeah restaurants, restaurants where someone takes a picture. Next thing you know, they're like you know putting it on their social media, sending it off. That's where I think it should be banned. That's just my feeling. But, yeah. You know, Oh, no, I, I think I think you know I would be alone in that. I don't. Oh, think I no, no. I think most people probably would agree with that. But as far as the work situation goes, we've got to have flexibility in our work. We're trying to get more flexibility in our work, and by saying it stops at six, completely takes that away from us. And I think we're. I think they're wise enough. We're wise enough and more mature and intelligent to make those decisions that fit for us and for our family. But and I, I would like a, to think so. I think there's a problem with screen time. Like I was saying. If I am on the computer or on the phone before I go to bed, mm -hmm. I'm overstimulated and can't right. sleep. Yes. So yes. I think you've got to know your own limits and realise that you can't kind of do that before you go to yeah, bed. Yeah, we don't, don't check it. Take the don't check Just it. ignore it. Yeah. That's exactly right. Silent. Now, next up, they're a school institution, but the tuck shop is disappearing. Uh, more and more of them are just being closed down because unless mums and dads step up to the plate and volunteer, uh, a lot of them are being privatised, which just seems wrong. Uh, I don't know why. You know, I want my cream bun from a uh, from a, from a helpful <laughs> mum or dad who's giving their time. Speaking of body image. Yeah, that's exactly right. Cream bun and a sausage roll. Uh, <laughs> Not in a school canteen. Yeah, the the no, I know. Oh, the whole thing. Is, that, no wonder they're closing down. They're, they're serving stuff no one wants to eat. No. They're thriving. I think there's a lot of volunteers, a lot of volunteers that get out and do that where they can. But the trouble is a lot of parents have little ones at home, so they can't come in. They're working. Yeah. But what I'd like to see is a lot more of the, the seniors, the over 55s in the villages and, and that sort of thing, be invited in. I get a lot of clients in that are now on their own. They may have lost a partner in their late 50s, early 60s, mm -hmm. even that young. And they really don't have anything to do. We've got the men's shed. Now the men go out there and they volunteer, they, at our childcare centre, if we're missing puzzle pieces or we want a cupboard, we go to the men's shed and ask these oh, guys to do it. It's brilliant. On the jigsaw. They do. But mm. the women don't have that and we always believe that our oh, women have all this social network within themselves, but that actually isn't true for all people and all ages. So if we can get some of them, if we ask them to come in, you will have touch shops filled with volunteers. I just added to that order, I think I'll have a vanilla slice as well. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, Tony is, is volunteering the nature of it changing, perhaps? Why are our tuck shops disappearing? Well, I'm about to head into the school years because <laughs> my son goes to school next year. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, so I think about, you know, will I volunteer? Well, this morning I've already yes. had a friend. Um, I was messaging her about volunteering at the tuck shop and she's messaged me back saying, I was just going to ask you. <laughs> Put your name down. <laughs> so, you know, the pressure's there. But I think, um, you know, there's so, ma there's so many guidelines nowadays, you know. Mothers are so concerned about what you're feeding your kids, which is a good thing, but gluten-free, sugar-free, oh, whole meal, like it. everything's got to be... If they you know, ran around the block an extra couple of times, wouldn't Oh, I know. Oh, yes. So I think there's a lot of pressure that you have to, like, deliver this... Oh, 
amazing <laughs> meal That's and, right. you know, float around and not be stressed and not check your phone and, you know, like, you've got to be so perfect. I don't know if it's just a... The, the, the volunteers to service, the volunteers to prepare is the problem because a lot of schools actually get the year six children in and they love it yeah. to go in and, and help serve but it's the preparation as you say all the rules and regulations of the prep is that's yeah, where I, it's I, you know it is it's just it's just disgraceful <laughs> now, you know it's not volunteers that are killing tuck shops it's the lentils <laughs> finally the remains of departed pets mm. will soon be able to be sent into space allowing grieving pet owners to look up to the stars and connect with their companions. Uh, Tony, when <laughs> will our pet obsession end? Uh, uh, is there no length that people will go to for their pets? Well, I'm just thinking about my cat right now, and she's up there in the stars. <laughs> Little oh, I think I, I think it's just a scapegoat. Yeah. I think it's a way to tell the kids, oh, you know, the dog's gone up to heaven. They used to go off to a farm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now they go up, to, go the up to, the, to the moon. Yeah, yeah. the dog's up there. See that star? But don't you think it's most... Around the star. Don't you think it's brilliant marketing? Yeah. I think it's absolutely amazing marketing that unfortunately people are going to be drawn into. Yeah. But uh, if, if, you, if you miss your pet that much, and many of us do, you bury them in the backyard, you cremate yeah. them and you put them on the mantelpiece with a photo, you don't have to send them a million have miles away. Oh, okay. No, I don't. If, that, if that's yeah. what floats your boat. Yeah, okay. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, you know, send it off. Like, why not? It's a close thing ever going to get. Yes. To send it off. <laughs> I mean, she is. But I've got friends who would do it. Yeah. Yes. No question. Yes. You know, they want the best for their pets. There's Soxie up there in the sky <laughs> the with Miss Piggy. <laughs> Love pigs in space and gives it another meaning, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I don't know if we really do need to send them off into space to show how much we love and care and miss our parents. Uh, yeah. Pets, pets. God, it's all like pets are like that, children. Three world problems fixed <laughs> in the I space know. of six minutes. Well done, ladies. Female president, female prime minister. I agree. Oh, oh, absolutely. All right, back to you, Deb. The Muppets, I was enjoying this video. <laughs>